Over time and over many years, I've interacted with thousands of customers myself. And one of the questions we answer is whether our estate, the particular estate we are selling is controlled or uncontrolled. Today, we are comparing between controlled and uncontrolled developments in real estate. Welcome to Real Estate in Kenya with Ruben Kimani in this channel. We unlock the doors to successful real estate investing. Whether you are a beginner or a seasoned real estate investor, you're in the right place to learn everything about real estate. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, so that every time we upload these videos, you learn, you're the first one to learn practical real estate uh, uh, investing advice and real life transformation stories about real estate. We want to compare between the two so that you can make informed decisions. Over time and over many years, I've interacted with thousands of customers myself. And one of the questions we answer is whether our estate, the particular estate we are selling is controlled or uncontrolled. I also realize most people may not know the details of the difference between the two and that's why we are sharing this video so that you can be able to select as you buy out there you can know the advantages and disadvantages allow me to compare the two very fast number one is in terms of infrastructure planning for control development this is designed and it is well thought it has to be approved by government authority the county it has roads it has utilities like hospitals uh, dispensaries schools common area and drainage facilities for uncontrolled development this one does not have it lacks proper planning of course, it results to inadequate uh, infrastructure and limited amenities for uncontrolled development. Number two is a sense of community. Gated community concept is something that username investment, for example, has been doing over the years. But for controlled development, this sense of community is way higher than for uncontrolled development. Of course, due to presence of shared spaces like common areas that we live uh, the amenities like the dispensary and stuff like that. There's a higher sense of community control development. People have to contribute, service charge, and have to stay together as one big family. For uncontrolled development, the cohesiveness, cohesiveness of the community is way lower than that of control development because uh, some of them lack shared amenities that of course promotes social interaction. In terms of costs, of course there is higher cost and that's why people have been avoiding controlled development. The higher cost because I have to seek approval from the counties, I have to leave a huge chunk of land for controlled amenities like hospitals, dispensaries, schools, common uh, facilities, uh, uh, drainage and stuff like So the cost is way higher. For um, uncontrolled development, the upfront costs are lower because it is not a must that you leave some of these amenities because this is uncontrolled kind of development. The costs are lower, the approval costs are lower. So if you are a person who is looking at costs, there are people who do that because they imagine and they know in future some of these amenities will come into place. It's also a strategy. Of course, it's a factor and controlled development is one of the ways to go. In terms of rules and regulations, there are set rules of regulation to access controlled developments. Property use, noise levels, and stuff like that. And if you go against, there was a case in Kilimani, for example, if you go against these rules, and even in Karen and Runda, there have been cases the county government will be on your back. You use the law and you cannot sidestep some of those laws. In terms of uncontrolled development, of course, there lacks strict regulation from government authorities because this is absolute. And of course, this has an impact of aesthetics and value of the area because people are free to do what they want. Somebody can decide to keep cows, for example, goats, sheep, or even chicken, and there's nothing much you can do for uncontrolled development. The other thing is about freedom and flexibility. That is number five. Of course, you can customize your property for controlled development. 
and you have to follow the laid down standards by the community or by the government. Of course, when you seek approval, they have to follow certain rules and regulations. What about for a controlled development? You have freedom to customize your property the way you want without having to follow certain rules and standards. That's why most people would like to go for uncontrolled development. Sometimes it's almost for free old properties and stuff like that. The other thing is management for controlled development. There must be, and that's why we create management companies and stuff like that. They have leaders of the estate. They are structured in that controlled development that are defined by the community and also by the law. But management of and controlled developments, of course, they don't have design, designated leadership and structures to guide the estate. This is something that username is doing. For those estates that are not uncontrolled, this is something that we are calling Nawiri Pamoja. This is an initiative by username investment. People are coming together to manage and control their estates themselves. It is way cheaper than waiting for government authorities to do it for you. A very nice idea by username investment. And the last thing is about environmental protection. As you would expect for control development, they take into account the environmental factors, especially at approval stage. Of course, NEMA will come in and all the other factors, of course, to seek to protect natural resources. But what we are also doing as username investment, you find that we are greening our estates, like the one in Juja, Royal Court Juja, that we are selling right now. If you come there, you find that. We want to do a tree coverage. For uncontrolled development, of course, they lack proper pro uh, environmental uh, protection. This can lead to pollution. And also, in terms of uh, organization, the estate, you'll find that it is not so well organized. It can lead to pollution because the laws do not force the community to follow certain standards that are followed in controlled development. Basically, what we are trying to say, if you compare between the two, now you have details, you can find out which one fits you both. But to conclude for you, the choice between controlled and uncontrolled development depends on the particular needs of an investor. All of us are different. It is personal. You have to choose it based on your specific situation in mind. You'll find that for, uh, for controlled development, just to compare the two very fast, you'll have, they have planned infrastructure, they have amenities and a sense of community. So if those things are important to you, go for controlled kind of development. On the other hand, flexibility, uh, capability to customize, uh, and cost saving is important to you. Go for uncontrolled development. And of course, username has both. If you are looking for controlled development, because it seems people would go for controlled development, but cost is a factor, customization is a factor. We have both. For example, we have a controlled development in Kisumu, the domain Kisumu, going for uh, 399,000 shillings. Quite affordable. It has hospital drainage and all those things. We have another one in Juja, an amazing project going for 2.99 million. This is just two kilometers from Vika Super Highway in a very serious controlled uh, area where you'd like to settle your family. The estate will be very beautiful because you have put everything into it common facilities, street lights, uh, stone wall fence piped water will have all these amazing things for you. So it is upon you to choose between the two. Do you have questions about controlled and uncontrolled development? Please ask them there. Tell us any other difference that you may know. I'll try my best to answer as many questions as possible and also offer professional guidance. Thank you for watching this video. Let us help each other to unlock the potential of real estate. While doing it, We'll also be able to transform the lives of ourselves, bright future for ourselves, and that of our loved ones. Thank you for watching. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep investing in real estate.